what's going on everybody it's Dusty Tucker I'm out in my garage um, I got a short little video for you guys today this one is going to be on the nipples on your cap and ball percussion revolvers or any nipple um, really these guys here well you know that when you go to a store and you buy these nipple wrenches that it's really easy for them to get marred up if you don't have a complete good grab of that nipple and you start to turn it or you don't push enough they just mar on the ends of these nipples like and this is these are just cheap aluminum they're made out of just crappy material so I'm gonna show you guys how to make one of these today and these are like the best like they're better than the stuff that you can buy from the stores this is like actual steel and as you can see that it fits perfectly in there you'll get 100 it's basically the hollow ground version and steel of these pieces of junk so and it costs nothing if you have extra um, if you have an extra 3 16 socket this is just a quarter 3 16 um, this one is a 4.5 mm socket the one I used this one here works the best and it's a five millimeter the, the circumference of the nipple and the five millimeter fits beautifully like if you have an extra of five mil um, deep socket type thing laying around that's uh, probably your best case scenario for one of these nipple wrenches and then you just get one of those screwdrivers that are a quarter clip on this guy and you're going to have no problems getting your nipples off of your uh, cylinders. So I'm going to show you how to make them. It's very simple. Um, some tools that you're going to probably need are some needle files. If you don't have a set of needle files, um, I suggest getting them because you can use them for so many things. I just got this pack here from Princess Auto for $7 on sale and they have a uh, eight i think one two three four five six ten ten different styles of like this one is a, a square a square box sort of needle file this one is a round one those are the only ones i needed for uh this little project here this hole in the middle wasn't quite big enough to fit the uh the nipple because the nipple has a little bit of a taper to it it fits the smaller part of it but once it goes down to the base it's not quite big enough so I just took a drill and reamed that out a little bit and this this works absolutely flawlessly now and it works so good that I want to make a couple more for my friends so I'm gonna make I'm gonna turn this 4.5 millimeter one into one of them now and I'll see if I can kind of show you how I did it okay so I flipped the camera around so you can kind of see how we got started here I'm just using a plain old sharpie for this part this is I'm using the camera to try to look to <laughs> it's kind of weird okay so if you put your nipple inside this um, what is this one here this one I'm using is the 4.5 millimeter so if you put your put your nipple inside the the bit there you can see how that fits pretty well so what you want to do is you you kind of want to line up um, two edges sorry my camera does not want to focus properly here you want to line up two of these edges that are inside the socket bit you're going to want them parallel with where this goes just to make it easier for your file to work so that's the idea here so I'm just going to take two ends and I'm going to pick them and mark them with this marker so I'm going to pick this end and the opposite end there I'm just marking them for now so I got those marked you can't really, it's kind of hard to see on silver, it's a shiny material anyway, but I can kind of see it and that's all we need. So now I'm going to have to flip my camera around and stick that in the vise and I'm going to use this cutoff wheel. You can use a Dremel cutoff wheel too. It'll work pretty much the same. If anything, it'll be even more precise. Okay, I'm kind of zoomed in on the piece here. You can see it's inside the vise there. And what I'm going to try to do is pick two of these edges, this edge and that edge, and I'm just going to put my file in the middle, and I'm just going to score it.
as much as I can so then it's easier for me to use the cutoff wheel and find where I want. Sorry if my camera's shaking, it probably is. Okay, so you can kind of see those recesses that I uh, put in there. So now we're going to take our cutoff wheel and we're going to try and do some precision doctor-esque work here. Let's see if I can do this without blocking the entire camera. I might have to move this over just a little bit. Okay, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I kind of went a little bit farther on one side than I wanted to. So I'm going to take that power tool is no longer needed. Now it's just going to be file work from here. And basically what you're going to want to do is keep bringing your, your, uh, your nipple. And you can see that it's not quite aligned properly. Who cares? It doesn't really matter if your uh, bit the cut that you made is not center as long as there's enough meat or material on both sides of these corners that you can actually grab the edge of the uh the nipple itself your goal is just to make a recess to allow the corners here on the nipple to fit inside of that's pretty much what you're going for so i'll try and flip this angle here for you here's a little better angle of what i'm talking about with that recess that I'm trying to mill out of this bit, you can see that it doesn't quite fit yet. I have to take off a little bit more on this side. I'm not too concerned about this left side. This left side looks really well. I'm going to concentrate on the right side more than the left side. You can kind of see there. My file marks on the top actually worked perfectly for the, the entire piece to go down so I should just take that what we're gonna do is just take the file and we're gonna try to work at that side as much as we can I'm pushing the file that way not so much down because I want that gap to be wider so I'm just gonna work at this for a while off camera and then uh, the best thing to do is file it a little bit and then check it and you can tell that it's not quite enough so I'm gonna have to keep going maybe I'll take off a little bit on this left side so the right side is not completely uh, worn down to nothing so maybe I will open up the left side a little bit too kind of try and keep it sent keep it centralized as much as possible so but yeah I'll keep working at that and we'll be right back Okay, so I've been filing at this for a little bit now. You can see how the one side's got less material than the other, but that's okay as long as there's enough jaw that this could, um, that the nipple can fit into. Now, it looks like we're really close, but there's something in the way of keeping it, uh, letting it pass into the jaw. So we have to uh, do something else here. Okay, so I'm over at my drill press now, and I have my soon to be nipple tool inside a pair of lock jaws or vice grips whatever you want to call them and I need to make that hole inside that middle there I need to make it bigger to allow the, the nipple to actually pass into it into the claws of this tool so what I'm going to do is just kind of rest it in the middle here and hold it as steady as I possibly can while I try to run this drill through and I'm, I'm doing it this way so that there's kind of a forcing cone of that um, drill bit to enter into. That way I can kind of loosen up my hand and let it center itself and then I'll hold it tight while it, while it actually cuts into the material, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and turn this guy on now. Just 
slowly go into it. Here we go. So just like that, now we have a bigger hole for our nipple to go into. Now let's see if it'll fit. Okay, so before I test fit this piece, what I'm gonna do is take my round file and I'm gonna go into the drill area that I just drilled and just make sure there's no loose burrs. Just gonna go around the circumference of the inside here a little bit, make sure there's no burrs. All right, let's give it a try now. Okay. Oh, we are so close. I can feel that the nipple wants to go into that recess that I drilled, but it looks like we still need to take off a little more material on the sides before. So we're going to go ahead with the square file again, and I'm just going to keep making passes on equal sides. If I do 10 passes on this side, I'm going to do 10 passes on this side to try to centralize it once again. So I'm going to do that again, and I'll come back. Okay, so I've been fine a little, a little bit now, I'm trying to get this piece centered as possible, and it's looking like it's close. Not quite, doesn't quite want to go all the way down. It's not bad, but it looks like I just need to do a little bit of cleanup work. So I'm just going to go over all the edges, the base of it. A little bit. Try and clear up some of these edges. Get rid of some of the burrs and stuff that have been left on it for a while. The needle file. All right, let's see if that wants to fit in there better. Oh yeah, there we go. Beautiful. So I can take this out of the vise now. I think, let's flip this over, try to, I might want to make it a little bit looser because it's kind of snug, like you see how it's kind of pulling at it. Not every percussion nipple is going to be the exact same. So I'm just going to, I think I want to loosen it just a hair. It's just grabbing it a little bit too tight than I want it. So I'm going to file just a little bit more on both sides. There we go. That's better. Just loose enough. So as you can see, that's what the top looks like. Made that hole bigger. Almost got it centered pretty good, but for a tool that's just gonna be used for taking out um, your nipples, this is gonna work perfectly. It's not gonna slip and mar and strip like aluminum does. So this is gonna be a lot better. Okay, so there we have it. We have our nipple, our modernized nipple wrench that's made of steel and spare bits that are just lying around. Didn't take me very long to make all in all, I think 15 minutes. And then I just use a quarter inch uh, attachment like this and then you can throw it on any uh, screwdriver bit. This is a ratchet one just to make it easier on your whatever, your palms or whatever you want. You can get some pretty good leverage on that. That's not going to slip and mar nearly as bad as those aluminum crappy ones are. So there you go. Hopefully you guys found something useful. And uh, like I said at the very beginning of the video, if you have an extra five millimeter one, this other one here, the one I first made today, um, this one fits perfect. Like it is the circumference of the five mil and the nipple is flawless you'll probably have the best contact with that one i think anyways it looks like this one turned out the absolute best 
So that's probably going to be my go-to one from here on out. I might even make a third one, so who knows. Anyways, hope you guys found something useful, and we'll see you next time. Keep shooting.